everyone, welcome to Daria Crochet Life. My name is Daria. This is the second part of a tutorial on how to crochet a raffia hat. Uh, I really recommend you to start with the first part. Where... Uh, in this part, we will continue working on our raffia hat and we will make a brim. So, brim can be any width that you want. It will all up to you. I will make, um, I would say, medium-sized brim. Uh, yeah, and it doesn't matter how a wide brim you want to make. The first row would be the same for all widths. And first of all, uh, yeah, let me remind you. So right now I have 84 single crochet in a row. So I have 84 single crochet. I have my marker at the end of my row. So the marker shows me the end of the row. And uh, in total I have 35 rows right now. And if I measure with my measuring tape from this edge through the whole hat, here to this edge it would be 35 centimeters so next row row number 36 we need to work not in single crochet but in slip stitches and uh, i really recommend you to work as loose as possible because uh, in the following row in the next row that would be easy for you to make single crochet so insert your hook into the next space grab the working yarn and pull it through that space and through the existing uh, loop on your hook that's the first uh, slip slip stitch so and you work like this the whole row 84 um, slip stitches and make sure to work as loose as possible so when you finish the stitch make it a little bit bigger you even can take the bigger sized hook that can help too. Next row, number 37, we begin with one increase and look where I insert my hook. So into the next slip stitch and I'm making one increase. So two single crochet go into the same spot and then I work 13 single crochets and I repeat these to the end of this row in total it would be uh, six times and at the end of this row you will have 90 stitches row 38 we begin with seven single crochet then make one increase and then uh, work like this 14 single crochet one increase 14 single crochet one increase and at the end here you will make one increase and you will have seven single crochet left to the end of this row and in total at the end of this row you will have 96 single crochets next row 39 we begin with one increase and then make 15 single crochet and work like this to the end of this row in total you're supposed to repeat these uh, six times and at the end of this row you will have 102 single crochet uh, row number 40 we begin with eight single crochet Then make one increase and then you need to make 16 single crochet then one increase 16 single crochet one increase so you repeat the part 16 single crochet and one increase uh, almost to the end of the row 
and at the end of the row here you will make one increase and uh, you will have just eight single crochet left to the like before the end of the row so you're working like this um, to the end of this row and at the end of this row you will have 108 single crochet uh, row 41 I'm making one increase and then 17 single crochet and I need to repeat this six, um, six times and at the end of this row I will have 114 stitches row 42 we begin with uh, nine single crochet then make one increase and then 18 single crochet one increase 18 single crochet repeat these five times in total then make one increase and uh, finish the row with nine single crochet and at the end of this row you will have 120 single crochet <laughs> row 43 I'm making one increase and then 19 single crochet and I repeat these to the end of the row and and then of this row I will have uh, 126 uh, stitches Uh, next row 44 we begin with 10 single crochet then you need to make one increase then 20 single crochet and you repeat one increase 20 single crochet five times in total and then you're making one increase and you finish the row with 10 single crochet so now I'm making 10 single crochet then one increase 20 single crochet repeat this almost to the end of the row here at the end you will make one increase and then 10 single crochet and at the end of this row 44 you will have 132 single crochet in uh, row 45 I'm making one increase and then 21 single crochet I repeat this to the end of the row and at the end of this row I will have uh, 138 single crochet row 46 I begin with 11 single crochet then I'm making one increase then I need to make 22 single crochet and then I need to repeat increase in 22 single crochets almost to the end of the row then I'm making one more increase and finish the row with 11 single crochets and at the end of this row you're supposed to have 144 single crochet next row 47 we begin with one increase and then I'm making 23 single crochet I repeat this to the end of the row and at the end of this row I will have 150 single crochet row 48 we begin with 12 single crochet and then I need to make one increase and then 24 single crochet uh, then I repeat one increase and 24 single crochet almost to the end of the row and at the end of the row I will make here one increase and then uh, 12 single crochet and at the end of this row I will have 156 single crochet uh, row 49 would be the last uh, increase row so I'm making one increase and then 25 single crochet I need to repeat this uh, six times and at the end I will have 162 single crochet next two rows uh, 50 and 51 work without any uh, increases and you're supposed to have 162 single crochet in every row
Okay, next row, um, the row number 52, we will work without any increases and that would be our last row. And as I told you in previous video, in previous part, that we will work the last row with this uh, wire rope. So, yeah, this is a wire rope. I am showing you one more time the package. So this is the size of my wire rope. I got it from the Home Depot and I'm sure you can find it um, anywhere in Amazon or in any other stores. I will leave all links to all products that I'm showing you here today. I will leave um, links in description below. So. First of all, you need to measure the circumference of, uh, of the brim, so here. Uh, to be honest, I don't take measuring tape, I just take my rope and put in it like this, very close to the edge. I measure the right uh, length, and then when you finish your measuring, take the cutter and carefully cut the rope. These cutters, um, they're really good. You see the edge is pretty nice. So, and we are ready to go, ready to work our last roll. Uh, so I put my wire rope a little bit like this, like several stitches before the marker, because here it would be the rope will be overlapping, something like that. That's okay, that's not a big deal. It won't be too thick. So I put the rope like this, always on the edge of uh, the brim and I start making my single crochets and the rope is inside of the single crochet. That's very simple. You see, and from the other side, you, like you can see that the rope is actually inside of the single crochets. So we work like this to the end of the of the row. I will, I will meet you here at the end. Okay, I am at the end of the row. You can see here that those two ends are overlapping, and I have. Uh, some extra rope here, but I think I will cut it uh, when I when I finish uh, the row. So here there is nothing nothing uh, hard. I just have two ropes laying together, and I'm continuing making my single crochets the same way as uh, I did before. I think I'll cut here. And finishing my row. Last stitch, last single crochet, 
and in order to finish the row I'm making slip stitch into the next space that's it then I'm cutting the yarn and pulling this tail uh, through the loop tighten it and now I need to weave this tail and that would be it make sure to hide those uh, wire ropes and, and single crochets and the only thing that you need to do is to fix the hat with uh, the starch all right my friends now I'm gonna show you how I steam uh, the hat so I have my iron it's just regular iron and I put it on the the hottest position the hottest mode and make sure that you have um, your steam on so my steam is on and to be honest I don't afraid of putting like touching the the raffia with the iron it's nothing so i can do it nothing dangerous can happen just make sure that you are not uh, holding the uh, the iron too long on the hat so this is how i'm steaming the the brim first i work on the brim then here i put it just hand towel uh, in order to have sort of uh, shape I cannot think about any better idea so and this is how I work on the side so first work like this on the sides then take away the the, the hand towel and uh, make sure that you found uh, this point like the the front most narrow point and you can take it like this hold it um, yeah fold it like this and steam a little bit iron it a little bit you can leave it like that or use uh, this the speed starch it is very very nice so first I'm shaking it nicely and then apply it like according to instruction don't worry to that it's like too wet so i applied starch and then go one more time with the iron that will help to fix the shape of the hat it would be a little bit wet at the beginning like like here it's a little wet but in a couple of minutes it will be okay so if you don't have this starch that's not a big deal but i really recommend you to use something something like that and again i'm putting the hand towel inside for the for these parts of the head
So that's it that I wanted to show you today. I just uh, decorated the hat with the small braid. Let me show you closer. So I just picked three strands of raffia and made a simple braid. I think this is like beautiful. <laughs> so if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. Please like and share this video if it was useful for you and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring the bell so you'll receive notifications about all of my new videos. And if you decide to make a hat following my tutorial and you want to post it on the Instagram, please use this hashtag so I will find your work and it would be very interesting for me to see your work. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.